how to update your Meet Cool KM7 Plus. Now, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. There's a lot of stuff here that um, you can do with this device. I did two videos, one explaining all the specs, one explaining how everything works on the setup with developer options. And yeah, this one is gonna be of how to update. So make sure you guys are subscribed, leave me a comment, and here we go. All right, so on your remote, you do have a little gear icon. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it has a little gear icon. Click on that, and it's going to open up this little window here on the side. Now, if you're like, uh, mine doesn't have a gear icon or it's not working, just scroll all the way over, and there you go. There is your gear icon. Now, click on settings, and you're going to want to come down here to system. You want to go over to about, and then system update. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to check to see if there's an update. Mine says your system is up to date. Cool. Back out and we're good. Um, real quick on the last video, I did show how to get to developer options. Click on Android TV OS build like seven times and it'll, it'll pop it up. Um, now, if you do hit the back button once and then if you do come all the way down here towards the bottom, then you're going to see developer options. So it's pretty easy to find. Now, if you do come to remotes and accessories, um, this says your remote G is connected. Um, this is the, the, the G10. Um, so there you go. If, you, if it needs any kind of updates, you know, then you'll be able to do it. Pretty simple. Now, system is pretty much where everything is going to be at. Um, it's going to tell you everything here. So you got data, data time, language, keyboard, storage, ambient mode, power saving, like tons of stuff here. And I highly recommend that once you do any kind of updates or anything like that, you restart this thing. Um, a lot of people kind of forget when it comes to that, like to restart your stuff. Now, as far as your remote goes, um, everything on this remote is pretty simple. You have like different users that you could do. So choose an account. You could create different users here. Um, it does have that Google assist. So if you do click on this, it's going to tell you what it is that you want to do. You got to hold it and talk to it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The remote and everything on there, these, th this thing pretty much just auto downloads everything. So it's pretty simple. I wanted to give you guys just a quick little how to update your thing and how to keep it running. There's the remote, the G10. Um, pretty good remote here this thing is this thing works super fast with all that being said I hope you guys appreciate today's episode again just wanted to be quick leave me a comment below you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one